You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah. property. We're... Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here She's to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim... Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Were you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate to visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Days Gone. This is a an episode, the one after that we eliminated totally the Rippers and killed Carlos or Jesse. Oh shit, look out! Oh god. Oh my god. Jesus, I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god, no, 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 no. listen, 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 you did great, you did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked, they would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was, <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Just breathe, you're okay. Wait a second, what did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work, it's nothing, I just... Oh. Okay, oh, I just thought maybe... You... You, uh, saw my new patch. Your what? No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah. I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out. I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've got Nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. 
Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. Knock him dead. <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Deacon St. John is really in love with Sarah and he'll never let go. This is very obvious. I love this storyline. I mean, um, I, I spoke about this before, I guess, but apart from being an action game and zombies and shooting and whatever, this storyline it has, it's, I think it's one of the best. The narration um, and this love story which is subtle and blends in the, the 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 game for me it's something that's that's the best thing of this game to be honest but addy i'm sorry whatever addy whatever ricky i'm sorry clearance clearance uh o'brien this is saint john come back o'brien o'brien this is saint just answer your goddamn radio John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing... Uh, Research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do it. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. And now it came to mind that she had clearance, Deacon? Okay, so let's see what we, what missions do we have here? I don't think that the other camps have missions available. No. So. Um, okay. That's hey, <coughs> hey, I heard, you know? You heard what? I mean, what you did for us, how you, the Rippers, all of them, I just, I know you had to do it. What else was going to stop them, you know? Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, right? I mean, it had, we had to, <sighs> look, they were coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't have to explain anything to me. I was here when they attacked, remember? I... I don't know. I guess I'm just tired, you know? Yeah, I know. We have four primary weapons available. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Brian, just would you tell me what you found? Is, is, she, is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien. Well, I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. 
Just shut up, they can go. Dink. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said Booze man, listen. Just uh, hey, tell him I'll ball. be back. I gotta You remember what I told you? Um the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Dink, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. I'm here if you need me, man. Get out of our way. Where are the coordinates? Here. Okay. Let's go. <coughs> Open up. Come on. Information. What information? Open up. You possibly have left to say. Going. By all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So, your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their ass off. Is that about it? So, Jesus. So, what the hell? I need to recruit a few guys who I trust to let me unhappy with what's going on. So, why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. Your wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? You don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. Bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Shit. There is a chance that is alive. Fuck. 
This wasn't an, this wasn't this wasn't expected. <sighs> okay, so let's let's reason things out. Um, Ricky has a job for us. I need time to filter this. <laughs> to be honest and Ada has a job for us let's go to Ada first let's pass the to Ada and see what she wants um, I want to build this well not build I'm I want to get at least to level 3 trust with all the camps um, and we are on level 2 on level 1 with everyone I want to do as much as mis as much missions as possible in order to get on level three. <coughs> and get good weapons. Okay, so this is Ada. Hey, oh, shit about any of that. Boozer? Booze man, come back. Yeah, D. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. D, Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. I mean, just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in 100 miles. Said there was a, a trail that went around Mount Thielsen. I don't know, something... Tielsen! Tielsen, yeah, that's it. Tielsen Pass. Yeah, well, why the hell you... Wait, Nero. Shit. You... You've talked to... She's alive? Sarah's alive? Deke? Okay, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh... Boozer, he found her ID badge. Yeah, Boozer, uh... I... I think that she's alive. Deke. Never lost hope. You always knew. You never gave up. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, Boozer. I don't know. Uh, but God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I well, I gotta find her. Goddamn right. Uh, shit, I I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Addy need need help putting up a shelf or some goddamn thing. Look, I, I'll see you when you get back to camp. Okay, okay. See you, booze man. What are you doing? Deke, uh, I got a job for you. <laughs> One only you can handle. What do you got? You remember the other day I took you by the dig site? Food came up missing? Yeah, Wheeler was on watch. He was doing more than watching. He was robbing us blind. He and a few men took off to a camp north of Patchen's Lake. You know the one? Yeah, I know it. Find the bastard and kill him. He's got a pocket watch. Still works. Bring it to me. Wheeler, got it. <clears throat> okay, then let's um, let's get Wheeler first. Deacon, how's it going, Zanny? We're gonna run out of this someday, you know. Yeah, not now. Come back soon. I will. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hey, I always forget that every time you give it How's fuel, the bike, the bike comes next to the mechanic. And I go and look for it elsewhere. Let me get the gate. Set this okay, let's kill this asshole. Hey Ricky, um, I I got some shit that I gotta take care of. Are you coming back? Coming back? What, what do you What do you mean? Loser told us. Loser told you. Okay, look, there's nothing to tell. There's no way over the Sanium Pass. You know that. Yes, yes, I'm coming back. Listen, like I said, I got some shit to do. Deacon out.
Hang on, where are we going? It's too far away. Two point two kilometers is too far away. I think we need to go this way, eh? The eight wheeler this way. Why the hell? This is Radio Free Oregon, and the truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with me. Very sick. Some cut down the survivors not to go out. The same hero that abandoned us here in the shit two years past. So, all these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly. Jesus. Me and my awfulness in shooting. Listen up. Shut up, Copeland. Shut up. Now, before we find you, because we will. And when we do, you can't do shit alone, Copeland. I run all your errands, I do all your dirty work, so shut up. Must be somewhere here, right? It's close to camp. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Got some goodies okay. that we can get. Yep. You know how much I love goodies, especially scrap. There's a horde here. Fuck me. Not a big one though, but still. I don't want them breathing on my neck anytime soon. This is it. This is gonna be Weaver's camp. Gotta go on out for it. More bounties. Let's go. Let's go. This is the camp, right? They are in the Nero camp? Oh, that's strange. This this was the one that um, was occupied by the Reapers, right? Kill Wheeler. Or maybe they're not in the camp. So man, ah, oh, come on. I thought it'd be easy, you know. <clears throat> the rifle and everything. Okay, let's start. Oh 
Okay, relax, man. Relax. There's nothing Son happening. Bitch. One by one, you'll all die. Here's some men. Here's some manpower. Number two. Shit, he's bleeding out. Number three. More? You, sir, next? Didn't know there was. I preferred sneaking in and sneaking out. Was not expecting that there would be two here. Well, it's my fault because I didn't check the radar, obviously. But anyway, I think he's left alone now. No, I don't think so. Holy shit! Is there a skill that? I don't know. Takes you off beer traps, eliminates them from the game. How many left? Two, I think. That's it, Thielen. Wheelin, Thielen. Whatever your name is. Let's get some... More? Okay, so I'm, I must assume that's everything, yeah? So we got his ammo, we'll search this guy. There should be someone else here that hasn't been searched. Let's see, this guy here. Great, let's get some flowers or herbs. Arrowhead. Yep, so... I think that's mission, mission over, yeah? Back to Cope, back to Ada. We have scrap, we have everything, yeah? Yep, 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 yep. So back to the bike. Which is a bit far away, because we have to go in by foot. And <coughs> Back to Ada. We probably can fast travel, yeah? Back to Ada. Oh, hang on, we're here. 
No, I don't want to go to Sarah. It's too sad. Honestly, it's too sad. I don't want to go. Let's go back to Ada. Update our credits. And then we see what Ricky has in store for us. Wheeler's sorry he messed with Ada Tucker now. No, I'm guessing he's not feeling a whole lot of anything. <laughs> I've updated your credits. And you wait and see. I'm still gonna find a way to talk you and Boozer into joining us here. Become a part of the family. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. I don't want to... Driving Nomad again, probably it means that we're gonna change area. So, driving Nomad again means that we will leave and go north and look for Sarah and search for Sarah. And honestly, I don't want to do that now, right now. Um, because there's plenty of this map that hasn't been uncovered yet. Look, and we are not, um, we're not in full level trust with all the camps. And I want to complete as much as possible from here before I move on. N I don't know that moving on, if moving on means I can come back later, but according to the main storyline, which is now finding Sarah there should be no reason why we should come back um, so let's get this Nero Rouge and the Nero checkpoint restore power this we've did it right uh, or what's this okay let's go to camp Not enough fuel, okay. So let's get some fuel and go to camp. I will pretty much try to avoid doing that mission for now. Bet you're here for your bike, right? How's it going, Zanny? Low on fuel, huh? There you go. I got you covered. Okay. Hey, always good to see you, Deke. What can I get for you? Hey, Zanny, keeping your hands clean. So now we shoot fast. Copeland hasn't got anything for us. Now Copeland just running his mouth. Fast travel. Hopefully it doesn't take us automatically to Let's Ride Nomad, to the Let's Ride Nomad mission. I'm gonna close a few storylines, but I don't know if they close in this map, like the murderer's camp and you know the the, the small petty missions and storyline, which usually I'll do offline. I mean off camera. So probably what I'm gonna do is that after this episode, I'm gonna see if they keep on giving me side missions. If they do, I'm going to complete as much as I can in order for us to keep focused only on the main storyline, which is now obviously finding Sarah. Let's see what Ricky has to say.
All right, let's see what the old man's got to say. No, the old man, nothing. I'm not gonna go to the old man because I Mike has to drive us and uh, show us the path, the 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 pass. So let's go to Ricky and try to avoid I Mike. Ricky has nothing to do with this. So as long as we stay with Ricky, hey, Ricky. and not so, talk to I Mike. Rachel and a couple guys were on a run northwest of here when they were hit by a group of drifters. They tracked him back to a camp north of Milakwa Lake. Okay, so Mitchell and the others, they didn't take him out? They're not drifters, Deke. And Mitchell's just a kid. I don't even know if he can, if he can use a gun. Then what the hell are they doing out in this shit? Look, I need you to do this. Lost Lake needs you. Okay, okay. Great, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Deke. Got good shit in stock today. Buzz. Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. Sure, all right. Okay, so where's this camp here? I'm here if you need me, man. I don't know if it means anything or not, like having uh, level 3 trust. I think it's level 3 is maximum maximum trust. Um, definitely it gives you more options as in um, buying firearms and whatever. And I probably, this is what I want to do is like, if I have to move out and go to another map, which obviously um, I want to have the best possible bike. First of all, and the best possible firearms. Walking into a new map, and honestly, I'm just saying it's a new map. I don't even know if it's a new map or not. I'm just guessing it's a new map, or it's just you know what? It's just it's a new place. Let's put it that way. It's a new area. Jesus Christ! Just ran over a freaking bear! And we stayed on the bike and the bear went to the ground. Jesus! How many drifters you guys murdered today, huh? Yeah, I can tell by looking at you. Okay. So next time we fight a bear, I just ride on the bike and freaking drive him over. That should do the job. Again, this camp? This camp has been run over a million times. Men. Men coming. Jesus. Let's hide a bit. I want to get my bearings. I want to see who's shooting and from where. Okay, so those are the freaks there, so I don't give a shit about them for now. Uh, 
Dead. Dead. Moving forward. This is not the actual camp still, right? Okay, so these are freaks, just freaks. Harmless freaks. Let's kill him. What about that? This is the actual camp going in. Oh, hang on. This is the... Remember when we first attacked... Not attacked the Rippers, but we went to get medicine for Boozer? And you found that Ricky. big guy. Aqua Lake. Yeah, there's a camp full of drifters here. Can you handle them? Of course oh, I can. Yeah, I got this. Sticking out. This is it. Oh, come on, time to clear this camp. Where is he? This guy we need to eliminate first. <laughs> Fuck him. I like this weapon to be honest. You just wait for them and shoot the fuck out of them. Why did I wait so long to put some medicine on? Ah, Deacon, Deacon. Come on, let's get rid of this camp. Go back to the king. And then this episode, probably that's what we'll do. Ricky, I'm at Malakwa Lake. Yeah, there's a camp full of drifters here. Can you handle them? Oh, uh, yeah, I got this. Sticking out. Oh, come on. Time to clear this camp. Let's get rid of the sniper first if we can. Dude, how can. Come on, this is taking too long. This is taking too long. Just eight marauders. Come on. Ricky, I'm at Malakwa Lake. Yeah, there's a camp full of drifters here. Can you handle them? Oh, uh, yeah, I got this. Sticking out. <laughs> Yep, I just gonna sit. Anyone coming for me? Yeah. 
Just gonna sit tight, wait for you guys to come up. I'm just being lazy with it. Let's take a different approach. I could just set up camp in Lost Lake territory and have the run for police. Murderers and thieves, the lot of you. Come on, take off this camp. Let's take a different approach. For the time being, we've just eliminated one the sniper shooter, yeah? Where are you hiding? Two. I think they're fighting some zombies as well, then. I didn't kill a second one. You this son of a bitch coming back from behind. That's not fair. Four. Numbers are going down. Not so confident anymore, are you? What, you're running away now? You came to visit and I'm run and you're running away? Six, they got reinforcements. Shit, they were eight before. Man, Why are you okay, where are you, fuckers? Get the fuck out! Come on! Where the fuck are you? Where's the wolf? That wasn't a job for a kid, Deacon. I can tell you that. Yeah, we just gotta let Ricky know it's done. Uh, Ricky, it's done. I cleared out the camp full of drifters north of Malacqua Lake. <sighs> Thanks, Deke. I'll let Iron Mike know. Oh, be sure to let Mitchell know it's safe to play outside again. He's just a kid, Deke. Yeah, well, if he wants to live long enough to become an adult, he better start learning how to use a gun. Yeah, you're right. I'll start working with him. Thanks, Deke. Okay. At last. What's this? That's your... Deke, you there? This is Lost Lake. Come in. 
Hey, Mike, what's up? Ricky told me you took care of that drifter camp. Yep. North of Malakwa Lake? Yeah, they won't uh, be bothering us anymore. Hey, Mike, that kid, Mitchell, he really shouldn't be going out on runs unless he can take care of himself. Yeah, God damn it. I'll take care of it. Thanks, Deke. Iron Mike out. Let's get fuel. Go back to the bike. Deke, hey, when you get time, swing by the camp. I need to talk to you. Again, Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay, I'll be by. Deacon out. Okay, let's go back to camp. Finish the episode here. And um, as I said, in the meantime, off camera, I'll do some. Do some work. I'll see what I can do and maybe fulfill some missions like this one, which is normally a side mission that we won't don't do on camera. And we can't refill. Okay. And that's it. So actually, I might end even the episode here and go back to camp alone without you guys. So. Thank you for watching, hope you liked the ep this episode and if you did so, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and until next time, I am Jerry D, bye bye!